And welcome back to Driver's Talk. Rick Titus, Jay Dalton, Spencer Crick, and the G-Man is in. And if he's here, it means hit the gas or sniff at gas, because we like to go to bring a trailer. That's right, gentlemen. Yeah, do, do, we do like it, right? Yes, the, the question of, for the day. How did we do last week? On the Lotus Salon. A good-looking Lotus Beautiful Salon. Beautiful Lotus Salon. Close. I know zero about those cars, or next to zero. So why don't we cue that up? I'm going to say 75. I think it's going to sell. I'm going to go $60,000, and it's going to be close on the sale. All right, gentlemen. So we have Rick at 60. Yep. We yep. have Mr. J. Dalton at 75. And that was a tough car because that was a very, very nice car. Mm. Let's remind our audience that the bid while we were reviewing that car was $24,000. You we know? knew it was a standard. Here we were shooting way high on this. How did we do? I think you guys will be uh, pleasantly surprised. So why don't you uh, pull it up with a sold for Spence? Fifty-five. Hmm. You're it, certainly correct there, Rick. That was a darn good buy for somebody. He, even the G-Man was kind of wishing he had bid. Congratulations, Rick. You hit the gas on this. Thank you. Mr. Dalton, not so... Second week in a row. There's a little bit of... <laughs> a little bit of sniffing gas you there. Won't need nizzle, you won't need nasal spray. <laughs> but we're going to redeem ourselves. Or should I say, you have the chance to redeem yourself this week. I'm, I'm a come-from-behind guy. Yeah, yeah. Come-from-behind guy. Okay, yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Spencer, why don't you queue up this week's uh, G-Man selection? Yeah, here we go. What monster have you brought us this time? Ooh. Here we oh. have it, folks. A 1972 Alfa Romeo Montreal. Oh. My concern is once you get on these cars, get past the lipstick, what's underneath? Because these things can bite you. I can remember these very cars raced at Daytona. I think they the did. The 24 race. hours of Daytona. You Love brought an that. Alfa Romeo to a 24 hour race? A 24 hour race? <laughs> well, hey, you wanted to go home early. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was fascinated by this shape, by the slats in the side all the time. But I fear this is one of those cars that you think you want right. until you get more involved in it. Yeah. Rick, you noticed that there was a few things that bothered you under this car. Well, these cars come standard with rust, and that's not what you want in an Italian it's car. It's not optional? You know, nope, it, it absolutely is part of the equipment list. <laughs> that's great. It is a mechanically fuel-injected car. That is the first red flag. Yeah, be afraid. Red flag waving, yeah. mechanical fuel injection by Spica. A little rust showing there, the, the uh. Spencer's... Uh, brought up the, the nose, the lower valance of the car. There's a lot of work in this thing, and is it worth the work? Good examples of this are going for about a hundred and a quarter. I don't think it's worth a lot of money. Actually, looking at this car looks pretty nice to me. This car is going to cost you a lot of money. Buying this car will be the cheapest thing you do. I hope an Italian mechanic can buy this car. Yes. All right, gentlemen, let's see which one of you is a true alpha holic. I'm going to say that car will sell, and I'm going to go as high as $50,000 I'm going to say if a naive person buys it, it'll go for 40 Okay, thank you, gentlemen. We have Jay Dalton at 50 for a sale, and we have Slick Rick at 40 for a sale. And that was generous. I'm in a generous mood today. I think you guys are a little low, but I could be the gas sniffer here. So. Well, all I can say is it better come with a membership to Auto Club. You're going to need it. When we come back, we've got the Radwood Show in Las Vegas. Yeah. 